Over the decades of American history, each institution has had to make its own decisions about what it is about its past that it honors, what it is about its culture that it wants to preserve. Baylor stands out as an example of a Christian institution that is determined not only to honor its past, but to preserve it. It's deeper than a Christian environment. It's Christian commitment and combining that with academic excellence. And that's pretty unusual in the 21st century, and it's what makes Baylor so special. Carrying the torch says Baylor is very important to us. We honor its past, but we look ahead to a very vibrant future. It's the parable of the talents. Don't just take what you have and make sure that you preserve it. That's not good enough. Uh, quite apart from it's a very demanding world, it's a competitive world, and we're called upon to really build on what's gone before. I think that's the enduring message of Samuel Palmer Books, and it goes back to Judge Baylor, goes back to the two Baptist pastors who, along with Judge Baylor, began this great uh, enterprise, and so they're saying to all of us, help build Baylor, and that's what our generation is called to do. So it really begins with the students. Being with the students is so energizing, it's so fulfilling. So I love being in the classroom, the seminar room, I love to, to teach, but I also love to learn from the students and just to see their vibrancy. The word holistic comes to mind. That is, we want to, at Baylor University, deal with the entire person. Not just the academic side, not just the social side, not just the physical side, but also spiritual development. That is at the core of the transformational experience. And so we want this experience, the four or five years that the student is here as an undergraduate, to be such a powerful experience of formation that that person leaves absolutely on fire to make an impact for the world. Those who were privileged to serve for a season at Baylor University would be very pleased. I think they would say, yes, this is a pursuit of excellence and it's the achievement of excellence in so many ways. I think they would say, yeah, we like it that in athletics there's been victory with integrity. Yes, in academics that you continue as a university to build and to keep getting better. And I think they would also say, this student body, they are even brighter than our generation. And they seem to be more connected to the world, to the globe, than we ever could have done. You now have people at Baylor from 50 states and over 80 foreign countries. Do you know what a blessing that is? Do you know what we would have loved to have had if we could have had that kind of experience? So count your many blessings, count them one by one, but keep going. Don't stop, keep building, keep marching forward.